What's up guys, TechFreak back here with another video, and in this video guys, as you can see, I have a huge list for you guys for the top 50 Cydia tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8.3. I want this video to be quick, so without any further delay, let's get started. Now before we get started into the list, I want to tell you guys that I made 4 videos before this one for top 10 Cydia tweaks for iOS 8.3. Be sure to check them out, I'll be leaving a link for them down below in the description. I'll also be leaving a link for a video on how to fix mobile substrate because none of these tweaks will work without mobile substrate being fixed so go ahead and fix mobile substrate and then come back here all right guys now let's get started with the list Bioprotect allows you to protect apps with your fingerprint. As you can see, I've set photos to be protected with Bioprotect, and now nobody can access the Photos application without the fingerprint. Record My Screen allows you to record your iPhone screen to make tutorials and stuff, and you can also record the mic and choose the resolution, so it's very nice. Apex 2 allows you to hide applications behind applications. As you can see here, once I swiped in Safari, I can add other applications and put them behind it. So as you can see, I added both of these, and as you can see right here, just by swiping back on them, you'll find that they are available right here, as you can see, and I can add them and save space for your phone, acts like a folder. Type status allows you to know if someone is typing for you a message or if someone read your message on iMessages simply by giving you a hint in the status bar. As you can see, this is how it looks if it's typing, and as you can see, this is how it looks if, it, if someone read your message. It's a very unique way in telling you if someone is typing you a message or if someone read your message. Circle icons give settings a more elegant look by adding circular icons instead of the square ones inside the settings app. Better 5 home screen allows you to have 5 columns inside your home screen. Better 5 dock allows you to have 5 applications inside your dock. Multi Ico Mover Plus allows you to move more than one application at once simply by selecting all of them and then go to a free page and tap on the home button, which will make them all move at once. Color Your Board allows you to set a custom color for your keyboard. Simply by tapping on Save and then tapping on Turn On, it will take effect right away and the keyboard will change color. You'll probably notice that the animations are quite fast, and this is due to no slow animations. It simply makes the animations more faster, as you can see right here, and more snappy. Aquabird gives this crazy animations when touching the home screen, like it's aqua and water. And I've got many more themes than that, this is one of them, and it gives a really nice look to your phone. Multi-delete allows you to delete more than one application at once. So basically by selecting both of them, and clicking on that cross button. As you can see, it says delete two applications, and now by tapping on delete, I deleted both applications at once. Lithium gives the battery shape a new look, and it's very nice. Showcase exactly does what it says. It shows you the case inside the keyboard. So if it's capital, it's going to show you capital letters, and if it's small, it's going to show you small letters. Untethered Hey Siri allows you to enable Siri by saying Hey Siri without the need of being plugged in. Combination log gives you this really cool look for your passcode entry. So it basically uses this old school combination to open your phone with your locks with your lock screen passcode. So as you can see right here, I've entered my passcode and it's working. Weatherboard gives you the dynamic weather effects to your wallpaper, just like what you're seeing right here, thunder and stormy stuff. Photo Organizer 8 does so many features inside the Photos app. I'm going to show you one, which is selecting all photos at once. You can basically just tap on both, and as you can see, it selected all of them at once. Repower allows you to add more features inside the Power menu. So basically, you can now reboot and respring and also power off as usual. Tiny Bar replaces the banner that appears when a notification is sent with a tiny bar, hence the name. So let me show you how this works. Basically, it just puts it with replace it with the status bar, and it doesn't intrude with whatever you're doing. And you can also slide up here to dismiss it. It works as a banner, but it's a little bit smaller. Classic Dock brings back the iOS 6 Dock to iOS 7 and iOS 8. Camera Tweak 3 adds a lot of cool features inside the camera application. You could choose the resolution of the video, you could choose the frames per second that you want the video recorded with, and you can also do stuff with inside the photos. As you can see, you can change the quality, you can change a lot of stuff, you can play with this, so download Camera 3 and enjoy. My Reachability takes Reachability to the whole new level. With activating Reachability, as you can see, it sets to the right corner here, so you can access the stuff that you can reach at the top very easily. And if you want to move it to the left, if you're a lefty, you just can move it with the gyroscope here, and with the accelerometer. and as you can see, you can do whatever you want here if you're a lefty, or if you are a righty, so you use the accelerometer. This is a little bit hard. And yeah, it's a very nice CD tweak. Kill Background 8 allows you to 
kill all the applications that are running in the multitasking switcher with just a single tap. As you can see, all of them are now taken down. Dock color allows you to change the color of your dock. It's really simple, you could choose any color you want, and it takes effect right away. Kenobi supercharges the Safari application. As you can see, there are two features that I really like and I really use. If you want to open a new tab directly, you can just tap and hold on the tabs page, and it will open the new tab directly. And if you are with a link, you can just tap on paste, and paste and go right away. And as you can see, if you go here and click on paste, and you have an option to paste and go, which is really nice. SourceTube allows you to download videos from YouTube application. You can basically go to any video, and as you can see, you'll have the download option right away. And if you tap here, you can choose the quality that you want to download the video in. And as you can see, you can pick up the quality, and the video will pick up. It will appear in the Downloads tab, which can be found right here at the corner, right here, and you can you know, download it. And the best thing about it, it can download in the background. Color Flow gives the music application a nice look as it changes the color of the whole application and that is determined by the, by the music that you are listening to. So as you can see it changes colors depending on the cover photo that you have on the album. This one looks really nice. Mobius allows you to infinity scroll between pages just like an Android. Yep, that's it, you can scroll till infinity. Smart Tap allows you to lock your device by double tapping the home screen. Tap to snap allows you to tap to snap a picture. And tap tap flip allows you to double tap to flip between the front facing camera and the back facing camera. Steel camera allows you to record video while locking your device so you, no one can tell if you're recording. So let's start recording here. I'm going to lock the device and as you can see it did not stop recording. It's still recording right here in the background and I am still recording the video and this is very cool. Sleep effects adds effects when trying to sleep your device, and this is one of them, and you can choose many, many more. Convobix adds pictures next to the conversation, just like on iPhone 6 Plus, but this time you can add this on iPhone 6. Folderix allows you to change the color of your folder, just like that. I've changed it to red, as you can see from outside, it looks right red, and that affects every folder, and it's very nice. You can change it to any color you want. Alternate controls add the Android-like controls to your iOS device. It's really nice actually. As you can see here, I can put it and this acts as a home button of course, as you can see. So this acts as a home button and this is a back button. It's very nice. I really like it. Lock lift add an animation to your lock screen when unlocking with your fingerprint. As you can see, it's taken straight from Apple Pay. Spin is a very nice CD tweak that adds is this cool look to your lock screen when they are playing music. It adds a very nice look. I actually think it's really, really worth trying. Swipe selection replaces the ugly magnifying glass to reach, you know, stuff with a nice cursor that you can control using the keyboard. As you can see, I can scroll right here to reach whatever place I want. And if I, if I hold the shift button, I can now select whatever I want, and this was stolen in iOS 9. Site Delete allows you to delete jailbreak applications right from the home screen without the need of going to Cydia and delete them, them manually. Night Mode adds this nice night effect to your applications, so this is how it looks inside the settings application, and it's a lot better than Eclipse if you don't know what that is, and it's very useful if you just woke up and, you know, you don't want to get blind with the iPhone screen, so this one adds a calmer theme to your phone. Anchor allows you to place icons and applications wherever you want on the home screen, just like on Android, and it's very nice. You can get creative with this. Facebook Plus Plus supercharges the Facebook application. One thing that it does that I really like that you can download videos from the newsfeed just by tapping here. As you can see, you can download a video. Vine Downloader allows you to download Vines basically by going here and tapping on save video you can now download vines snapper allows you to take a screenshot of part of your screen not the full screen basically by setting an activation method so for me it's tapping on the volume hud and as you can see the screen is dimmed a little bit now i can choose whatever part i want and as you can see i saved the photo now by tapping and holding i get all these options to save so i can cap on save and close and as you can see that's the final result and effective power is a tweak that will stop anyone from bothering you anymore. So because 8.3 doesn't have a fix for the effective power text, an effective power will protect you and the iPhone will never be rebooted again after installing that tweak. 
So yeah, install an effective power and no one can prank you anymore because the iPhone is now immune against that. Winterboard is the most famous theme manager here. It allows you to change the theme of your icons, everything you have. And I'm going to show you two of the themes that I have. That This one is called ACOC8. And this one is very nice theme and it gives circular icons as you can see here. It's very nice. And the second one here is Flattish, which is a little bit more flat. And it's also nice as well. Alright, thanks guys for watching this video. This was a very tough video to make. Oh man, I have a lot to do in editing, so it would be very, very appreciated if you click that thumbs up button. It really, really helps. It, it was a tough video to make. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you all later. Subscribe for more. Peace.